In the southern Philippine farmlands, there's one crop that grows all year round and better than any other. Babies. Lots and lots and lots of babies. With an ever increasing number of mouths to feed, one of the biggest challenges here is finding ways to produce enough food from a limited supply of arable land. To help find solutions, a group of scientists and researchers funded by the Australian Government has been investigating affordable ways for smallholder vegetable farmers to enrich the fertility of their soil, increase yields and improve their incomes. I think the farmers are very responsive here because the, the, they, what they have noted in the past that the yields are gradually going down, which means the nutrients in the soils are depleting. So soil is not an unending resource. It has a certain amount of nutrients. I always say it's like a bank account, so you can withdraw what you have. Then how to replenish it? And soil nutrition is not the only issue. Moving into particularly sloping areas and in a tropical environment which has um, high levels of rainfall and that's obviously very intense during the wet season is you get uh, large amounts of erosion. An important step towards controlling this erosion has been to introduce a new method of ploughing. Sumala sa mong pagduki, kun maguma, magdaro sa bakilid, pasaka o pabahada ng up and down the slope. Ang gidaghanon sa pagkaman na si Uta na mabut o 350 katunilada. Unya kun ilan daruhon subay sa hanay sa bakilid or uh, contour uh, contour lines mosos kana ngadto sa 60 katulada matag uh, ektarya matag tuig pero dili kana sufficiente tuod gay ang tolerable uh, suelos uh, diri gikanlan sa gis ngadto 12 katulada matag uh, tuig so kinanlan pagyud og mas maayo pa sa contour plowing mo kanang pag adapt og uh, natural dative strip grass strip para nga mo reduce ang mosos ang pagkabanla sa yuta ngadto sa uh, duha ngadto sa uh, unom katlada matag itari at tuig nga makita nato nga below ubos ka sa trouble so we lost farmers who have moved from traditional cultivation practices to contour plowing and natural vegetative strips are reaping the benefits kani adto kani yuta ah uh, eroded ka ni siya kung kaya sa tubig ka ni daruhon na yung aning daruhon na kung kaya na maanod ni siya sa ubos niya dayon uh, ako nang gikuntor kaya aron gid nga mapugnan ako ang dahili sa yuta sa unang panahon sada pa ni siya og tubo ang mga tanom ani sa sadugan na namong tinikad kung magpagkusog sa ulang dabanlas na ang mga ang notrina o minus na ang iyang abot. Aron sa pagsugbo ani nga problema, andito na ko sa isa ka area akong gibuhatan og contour. Sa sa kada contour sa kilid akong gitanom abaka og kanang saging nga lakatan. Tapos sa tunga akong gitamnan siya og kanang string beans og kamuti og paliya. Mani akong gibuhat sa akong pikas nga area. Like Rebecca, many other farmers are now adopting the practice are planting their hedgerows with valuable cash crops. Ang akong hedgerows ang gitanom nako pinya og saging. Pero ang daghan gyud ang pinya. Unya, every year from May to July makabaligya ko sa ang pinya. The research team has also been looking at different types of agroforestry. Rubber production is one such activity that helps control erosion and generates extra income. And it's proving very compatible with vegetable production because the rows of tall trees help create a more sheltered environment for the crops. For all farmers, it's important to understand what their soil might be lacking. Members of the ACR project team have been training local extension workers to accurately check soil pH and the levels of vital nutrients such as nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. The extension workers then pass on this knowledge through activities like farmer field schools. Karon ang atong mga mag-uuma, pwede nang maka-analyze sa mga nutrients nga naa sa ilang yuta pinaagi sa soil test kit. So ang atong mag-uuma makapalit ani nga soil test kit sa Department of Soil Science sa UPLB or sa Bureau of Soils and Water Management sa Quezon City. Kani siya mula for 6 months. It's one thing to know what nutrients your soil is lacking. 
it's another to be able to fix those problems. It's about trying to allocate limited capital resources um, for inputs so that um, those inputs give the best return on investment. Struggling farmers simply can't afford large amounts of expensive inorganic fertiliser. So part of the project's focus is to trial the effectiveness of cheaper alternatives made from readily available farm waste products. At Claveria, June Mercado holds regular field days to showcase new technology and to teach farmers how to best use organics such as manures and vermicompost. Kasagaran na gunahuna ng organic uh, fertilizer usak magahimo usak magic alang sa production sa otanon. Pero sa among experience, among recommender nga mas mayo nga dunay combination sa organic o uh, inorganic nga gitawag og integrated uh, nutrient management. Formally magpalit mi around 10 bags of fertilizer, commercial fertilizer. Pagkakaroon mo, palit na lamig 5 to 6 bags. Kaya abo naman, nabinipisyohan kami sa chicken manure. Ang importante nga nakatunan ko sa training, mao ang kuan pag gamit sa kanang vermicast o sa kana sa nakadugang sa katambok sa akong yuta. The vermicompost trials have looked at various food sources for the worms, including wild sunflowers. Ang nindot sa sunflower magamit tong uh, gamiton to as uh, pakaaw nito sa ulod sa atong vermicomposting. Nya kun ato nang i-apply ang uh, vermicompost ng gikan sunflower, makahatag na og uh, abuno para sa mga utanon. Unya ang sunflower po do na nay uh, sustansya ang yang duga mao kay magamit sa pagsumpo uh, sa mga dangan og mga sakit. For farmers serious about wanting to make their land more productive. There are good, affordable methods available. And there are good teachers dedicated to freely sharing their knowledge. At the end of the day, we would like to see whatever the interventions that we have basically introduced through consultation with the farmers, bringing additional income to improve their livelihood. So bottom line is livelihood. Lipayon kaya mi sa among lahi mo. Akumpismit na mong isip o sa kamag-uuma. Nakapahuman mi sa tulon na mong kamang-anak, ang duha, nurses, registered nurses. Kami Unya og nay mga training di sila mo balibad balibad kay konjun kay until now parehan ako gani I'm still learning di ba ko ingon na hibalo na ko 